what I'm going to talk about today um, is, is the question of falling transit ridership and a particular subset of that question, which is, uh, is, is the way our neighborhoods are changing, and particularly our, our housing costs rising in some places, influencing the levels of transit ridership we see uh, both within those neighborhoods and overall. So you have this situation where we're seeing dramatic drops in transit ridership in LA. Um, those are mirrored uh, in most metropolitan areas in the country and so total transit ridership in the country has been falling pretty dramatically since 2009. The transit has always been sort of on the downturn in terms of like does the average person ride transit. What makes this particularly alarming is that in the last 10 years or so, transit has been falling in absolute terms. What do we see that can explain falling transit ridership? And there's a bunch of different things going on. There's no one culprit, but the main, the big driver we found is that if you just looked at the Southern California region, uh, one of the biggest things that has changed in the last 20 years is the sheer number of households that have automobiles that didn't used to. There's a, a fact about transit ridership in the United States is that it is very disproportionately concentrated in a handful of places. Right, so 40% of the nation's transit ridership is in New York, maybe another 8 or so percent, 10% is in Chicago, and then you get similar percentages in what we call legacy cities like Philadelphia, Boston, San Francisco, and Washington. Los Angeles has this unique position of being a pretty big transit market. Right, it's about 6% of the nation's transit ridership uh, and it has the characteristics of a small market. Our transit service really is a social service. It carries people who don't have other options for the most part. There's some parts of LA where transit service is, is okay. There's a small number where it's good. Um, and then there's a lot of places where it's not very good. There's concern that transit itself causes uh, gentrification. The gentrification reduces transit ridership. One more potentially more plausible hypothesis that's related, right, is not necessarily that transit causes high housing prices, but that high housing prices do undermine transit. In some ways, this is just like an arithmetical fact. If you're going to lose a lot of transit rides, it has to happen where there were a lot of transit rides. And so the, where there were a lot of transit rides was in dense areas that have a lot of jobs and dense housing. The groundwork descriptively for this hypothesis seems to be getting borne out, right? That we have a small share of places that account for most of the losses those places are very low income. They do seem to have rising rents. They do seem to have some changes in their composition that would suggest those rising rents uh, leading to lower income people no longer living there as much. So what do I have here? I have like suggestive evidence that people are at the neighborhood level being kind of priced away from transit.